7 and 8 Science Club from St Bartholomew School, Newbury. And this is our entry to the BP Ultimate STEM Challenge, My Sustainable Future, that we are very excited to be a part of. For our experiment, we have chosen Handy Hydro and how we can create the most efficient way of producing electricity from water. To do this, we are investigating how changing the length of the blade from the turbine increases or decreases the amount of energy produced. We have chosen to investigate this because approximately 35.6 billion metric tons of fossil fuel get burnt each year. This could lead to the sea level rising by 6 metres in 2050. Not only will this affect sea life, coastlines and homes, but it will also affect us. And we want to see a more efficient planet when we're older and are sure others agree. Here is our experiment. We have tried to create a smaller version of a hydroelectricity farm so we can get the most accurate results as possible. When the water fills up the cups, it spins this axle. Then the belt spins the generator to create voltage, which is recorded by the voltmeter. Our independent variable is the length of the blade from the turbine. We are using three different lengths of dowel with polystyrene cups on the end as our blades. We use polystyrene as it's waterproof and we can attach it to the dowel easily. Our independent variable is the number of volts we produce and we will be using this voltage meter to measure it. Finally, our control variables are the height in which the water is let out from, the number of blades and the design of the blades. Here's our experiment in action. We had to make sure that the water stream was vertical so the direction was not affected as the pressure changed. We chose to put the container of water quite high up to give it more gravitational potential energy. We found out that the blades, the furthest distance away from the turbine, produce the most energy. The thing has happened because the greater distance from the pivot, the greater the moment that would have been produced. You can find the moment by multiplying the distance from the pivot by the force exerted on the blade. If we were to do this experiment again, we would have found a better way to save the water as some of it went on the ground. We really enjoyed doing this experiment and learning about hydroelectricity. We hope you enjoyed our video. Goodbye!